Hey, what's up, tubers? All right, we're back. Another flea market treasure hunter. Um, today, I am back at the uh, Wolf's Flea Market and uh, at the Allstate Arena in uh, north of Chicago. I don't think I've been here since, uh, like, my second episode. So, hopefully, I'm going to get out there and there's going to be all kind of great stuff. And uh, it's come to my attention recently that the real game hunter, this is the flea market that he goes to. So, He's the SOB that's been getting out there in front of me. Because if you watch his videos, he's a, he's there in the when it's dark. He must be here at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So, I don't know. I'm hoping uh, he had something else to do today. And uh, he's going to leave all the games for me. So, I've got my glasses. They're all charged up, ready to go. They don't. Uh, I didn't get a bigger SD card yet. So, I'm only going to be able to get maybe a half hour, 45 minutes worth of footage. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some good stuff in that time. So, um... Here we go. And I got out here really early and there's still people running around like crazy setting up. It's kind of funny. Show you, show you a little video. I just grabbed some NES games, but uh, they're all common titles, nothing to get excited about. I got fucking caught slipping so fucking hard. Pardon my language, but I'm pissed. It's gonna haunt my dreams. Either she put it out while I was looking at something else, or I just walked right by it, but I missed a mint in a box Dreamcast. She sold it for 25 bucks, and the box was mint. Like, like it just came out of the freaking factory. Oh, I'm so irritated. Oh, and I can't get my glasses to turn on. I don't know. Fucking cheap shit. I'm just so aggravated about this fucking Dreamcast right now. And then I pull out the glasses and they won't turn on. I don't know. I bought a new memory card out here, put it in, and they still won't come on. So I don't know what's going to happen. They're going to have to go back, I guess. Alright, well, I'm over the whole Dreamcast thing now, but I, I was angry. Oh, that sucked. But, you know, it's a Dreamcast. It's not like it was a box Nintendo for 25 bucks, so I'm over it. Um, I am just came back to the car to drop all my stuff off because my bag was getting heavy. I've gotten, shit, I might have picked up 20 NES games so far. And uh, all for reasonable money. Uh, got a couple other things too, so I'm pretty happy. I'm going to go back and look around. Apparently, Pawn Stars are going to be here today. So I'm going to stick around and check that out. Somebody said Chumley from the Pawn Stars is going to be here. They got a booth set up. I didn't see the booth, but uh, that's pretty damn cool. So I'm going to stick around and uh, see what happens with that. Oh, and fuck these piece of shit fucking glasses. They worked fucking fine yesterday. Now I can't get them to turn on. I fucking charged them all night. Fucking bullshit. So I guess the Pawn Stars are going to pull up in like two minutes. I'm going to stand here and wait for them.
guess so. It's not the Pawn Stars. It's Hardcore Pawn Chicago is filming today. Well, damn, that was a pretty exciting day at the flea market. So, uh, Pawn Stars Chicago is filming out here. I got a little footage of that. You guys saw that. And then I'm standing there at a booth looking at games, and I hear this guy next to me talking, and I recognized his voice. So I'm listening and listening, and I look over, and he's asking this guy about games, and I'm like, man, I know that voice. And it turns out it's the real Game Hunter from YouTube. He's got uh, probably 5,000 subscribers or something like that, pretty big show. If you haven't seen him and you're watching this, check out the real Game Hunter. He's got a good show. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Um... Looks like we might uh, do something in the future together, so that'll be pretty cool. So, all in all, man, I got a lot of shit today. A lot of common games, but a lot of common games I didn't already have, so it was pretty good. So I'm going to head home, and then I'll uh, do, the, do a little recap and show you guys everything I got. All right, tubers, welcome back to my dojo. I made it back home today. Today was a pretty damn exciting day at the flea market, I gotta say. First, we got to see a little bit of filming of um, Hardcore Pawn Chicago. That was pretty cool. I've never actually seen the show on TV. I don't even know if it's actually released yet on TV, but when it comes out, I'll definitely have to check that out. And on top of that, I got to meet a fellow Chi Town gamer, uh, the real game hunter. The guy's got like 5,000 view or 5,000 subscribers and stuff, so it's pretty cool. And uh, the guy's just, like I said earlier, just a wealth of knowledge. Like every game, he knew what the price was. And I'm talking about for every system, not just NES games. Super NES, uh, uh, Xbox, everything. He knew what every freaking game was worth. It was crazy. But um, So that was cool. So hopefully me and him can uh, hook up in the future and do something. Maybe go on like a... Like a road trip, like a game chasing road trip or something. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. So I ended up with like 20 games, 20 NES games, and some other stuff too. So I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's all games that they're all I think pretty common games, nothing real expensive, but it's all stuff that I didn't have. So I'm happy about that. So without further ado, let's uh, see what I got. Start off with I got Metal Mech. Werewolf. Let's save that one. The Battle of Olympus. This game apparently is really cool. I've never, I haven't played it yet, but I'm, I'm excited to try it out. Shattered Hand. Apparently, it's a really fun side scrolling, side scrolling. Then I picked up Gumshoe. Game and Manual. Got a uh, Jurassic Park, Caveman Games, Rocket Ranger, WrestleMania, The Hulkster. Oh yeah, brother! Turbo Racing. Uh, Air Fortress. Fighting Golf, Platoon, Mission Impossible, High Speed Pinball, Glove Ball, and the Blue Marlin. And now that I think about it, I might actually have this game. Okay, so those are my uh, loose loose carts, and then I picked up uh, for Sega Genesis. I got a uh, College Slam. It's complete with manual, and I got a uh, uh, Revolution Revolution X. Yeah, Revolution X. These are both pretty pretty cool games, and they're both complete. And I got them for like a, a dollar or something like that. Okay, and then, so I, so then I was walking around uh, with the real game hunter, and he spotted this. 
uh, the Mickey Mickey Mouse Capade complete in box. The box is a little rough, but uh, the guy was only asking two bucks, and he spotted it, and he's like, "Hey, do you want it?" And, you know, he's like, "I don't need it." So I was like, "Yeah, if you don't want it, I'll pick it up." So another one to add to my box collection. And then I got a uh, Mario Brothers Classic arcade game. This I I got this from the real game hunter. I guess he makes these cases. And uh, he gave me a real good deal on it because this game's actually selling for a few dollars. I gave, he gave it to me for ten bucks with the case, and uh, and the game is super clean. So the game the game fits in there nice. He even puts these little pads in there to help protect your game. Really nice. So if you're in the market for he makes all all sorts of different cases like this. So if you're in the market for cases. He's the guy to check out. So then I picked up uh, Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. I got this for eight bucks, which is a really good deal. It's pretty clean. The manual's inside. The disc's in pretty good shape. It's just got some uh, fingerprints on it and shit. So, but that'll clean right up. So that's really cool. I'm excited to play that too. So, and then I also picked up uh, this controller. For Nintendo, it's one of the, it's like a it's called the Hyper Stick. It's one of them like third-party controllers, but I really like these things for the collection. They look cool on the shelf, and uh, I don't know, it's just neat. It's cool here. It's got a speed so you could uh, like for like turbo and stuff. You can turn the speed up and down, so it's pretty cool. So, um, that's pretty. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot this one. And then I was—I've been looking for Ninja Gaiden forever. I picked up a copy of Ninja Gaiden, super clean. I've been looking for a Ninja Gaiden everywhere, and I haven't found one. And I didn't want to go on eBay because I, I was going to pay twenty dollars for it, you know. So I ended up getting this and a whole bunch of other games together, and the guy gave me a pretty decent deal. So uh, that's uh, that's the end of my pickups. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.